Hey everyone, it's Crow from the Red Hand Ninjas here, and I'm just going to be showing you how to download uh, mods to Minecraft. So, uh, all you're going to want to do is go to Planet Minecraft, uh, it's the best website I think to download mods off of, and just click on, I'll leave a link in the description for this, and then just click on mods, or skins, text packs, whatever you want to download. Obviously, th I'm showing you how to download mods, so don't click text packs or skins. I'll show that in a different video. But what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to whichever one you want, um, a good way to find out if it's going to work on your Minecraft is click on game version. Mine's Minecraft 1.1, so you just click on that, and it'll come up with all the mods that are on 1.1. And you can like put like either recently update, what's hot, latest, all stuff like that. So, well, I'm just going to download a random one. Let's hope it works, because I just did another video and it didn't work. So, easy TNT I'm going to go with. Let me see the review thing, see if it actually works. Yes, it does work. So, all you've got to do is click this little link thingy here. Just click download mod. It'll come up if you've got Google Chrome, which you this should happen. If you've got Google Chrome, just, it'll come up in a little bottom corner. Click easy TNT. Click the arrow next to it and click show in folder. Click that, and it will be highlighted in this folder. So all you're going to want to do is now is right click it, click copy, close that down, minimize your internet, or close it down, whatever you want to do, and then paste it onto your desktop, put it there, and these are all ones that I've done already, so it's just proof that it works. But before you do, after you've done that, what you're going to, I'd get uh, two, I mean not too many items, I'd get, um, what the hell, oh, yeah, mod loader off of Minecraft, Planet Minecraft, whatever it's called, Minecraft, I don't know what it says, it's called, <laughs> I can't, Planet Minecraft, yeah, oops. You're gonna get want to get that off Planet Minecraft, and then you're gonna want to uh, download mod uh, loader, then get um, MC Patcher, then get whatever mod, put it on your desktop, whatever. So I'm gonna open MC Patcher up now, and as you can see on MC Patcher, that all of my mods are here. It's just gonna analyze my Minecraft jar file. Uh, it's just gonna load it all up. Um, don't worry about this part; it's nothing's going wrong. Yes, yeah, so you just do this. And uh, what I've done on mine is I have all these like custom colors, random bars, better grass, HD font, and HD textures. I've clicked tick on all of them because you know it's just better, I think, for the game. Obviously, you're gonna need a fast computer to do that, but yes, it's well, don't download mods if you don't have a fast computer. Anyway, so what you're gonna want to do if you want to download the mod is click this little plus button here, click that, and a file will come up what's on your desktop, the mods are on your desktop anyway. If, and if it don't, just click on this little button and just click desktop. Okay, so uh, this should come up and um, just click on whichever mod you just downloaded. I've just downloaded ES Easy TNT. Click on that, open, and it's, uh, mine's only come up with one DS class thing. So, yeah, this is the only thing that I'm really going to need to download anyway. So, but on a lot, you might get a README file. If you do that, just get all the others except the README file. Um, yeah, so just click on this, click the plus button, click OK, then click OK again. Then it should be downloaded into your MC Patcher. Then click Patch, and this is just going to upload it to your Minecraft, and it'll be on your Minecraft working and ready. There is another way to do this by clicking, uh, searching percent up data percent, and then going in your dot Minecraft file, then your bin, and then dragging, uh, opening Minecraft via. Uh, either WinRAR or um, Java, I think it is. Uh, yeah, but you, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend doing this way because MC Patcher is much better. It updates your stuff, and obviously, you know, you can do all this and delete it after. I'll show you how to delete it after I've done it. So, click Patch. It patches it all up. It does all that. I think I just did patch. Get a bit of short-term memory loss. Do what? Patches it all up. Hundred percent. It's done. Once this is done, it comes back up on normal. Here we go. Just click the cross, shut the thing down, then go on Minecraft, and then you can click Force Update. I think you should. Then click Login. I've already got Force Update on. So, and if this does work, yes, I think it might work. Yeah, it's working. So this is a good mod. Sometimes your screen just goes black. Just go back to MC. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. So what I'm going to do is just, you know, I'll just leave it like this. Single player. Then I'm going to go on Red Eye Ninja thing. Here we go. So it's going to load up my little game. And I don't know, actually know how to use this mod. I've just got it. But anyways, let's click on this. See if I've got it in my 
too many items folder I probably don't but yeah that's basically how you do that and as you can see like I've got too many items so this has all come up and I've got um, furniture mods I've got cooling pike all that and obvious and I've got this new egg one as well it's called crafting mob eggs it's pretty cool but uh, yeah I'll do a different video for that a different time yeah so you get all this it's pretty cool yeah so the mod will be downloaded to your game you'll be able to do whatever you want with it and that's basically it now I'm just gonna show you how to delete the mod if you don't want it so just click cross now you're just gonna wanna go back to the MC patcher folder see if it don't work properly it makes your screen go black when you go on minecraft I'm gonna go on MC patcher it'll do all this analyze your minecraft jaw and once this has happened you just wanna gonna you just going to want to click uh, whichever mod you downloaded and you don't want like I'm just going to undownload that easy TNT. Just click, click it. It unticks it. You can leave it like that if you want and patch it, and it'll be no problem. But if you obviously don't want like it stuck in your memory, if you're never going to use it, just click the minus uh, button here. Deletes it straight away, and then just patch it up. It'll be gone from your Minecraft forever unless you want to re-download it. So yeah, that's basically how you download mods to your Minecraft. There's a lot more complex mods that you can download, like the that you've got to click different things but yeah that's the real that were pretty easy mod to download so I've done that uh, yeah so that's how you download and undownload mods on minecraft uh, the reason I don't use dot minecraft in my app data folder thing is because last time I used that I had to back it up because and then it just crashed my game completely so I've got a backup folder here on my dot minecraft so yeah I don't recommend doing it that way you can go on YouTube for another video or leave in comments how to do that way but I don't recommend doing it that way I just would download MC Patcher it's much easier so yeah thanks for watching I will leave MC Patcher in the description a link uh, and Planet Minecraft and the uh, whatever else I said I'd leave in the description at the beginning of this video so yeah that's basically how you download that um, a mod for Minecraft Hey, I made this skin. Yeah. And I made this skin. So, yeah, download these ones if you want, whatever. Dirt Block Man and Creeper Assassin. They're mine. Yeah. And I put them up today. Anyway, <laughs> advertising my mods. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, that's basically how you do that. So, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the future. Thanks for watching.